Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be browsing the Sephora sale section. I got this idea from Lauren May Beauty. I've been watching her channel quite a bit lately. I feel like her channel very much places an emphasis on makeup that you don't need versus makeup that you need. And I discussed in my last video that I can't really afford a ton of makeup right now. Like, no makeup really, I can't afford any of it. But I still wanna watch YouTube, but I don't wanna be tempted to make purchases. So she's great because she just kind of, you know, really rationalizes her purchases instead of just like, you know, going out and spending a lot or getting a lot of PR. She really kind of like reels it in and is like, you don't really need this. So I've been watching her channel a lot lately and she does a lot of videos that are about makeup that's on sale at Sephora or TJ Maxx or Ulta or wherever. I'm gonna be looking at the sales section of Sephora today, but basically she just talks about makeup that she's not surprised is on sale. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Some of this makeup I actually have and like personally, but that doesn't mean that I'm not surprised it's on sale. You know what I mean? There's a bunch of Canadian geese flying outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably the most annoying sound I've ever heard. Anyway, so let's get right into it. I don't want to ramble on for a super long time. Oh, one thing I do want to say though, my lip color today is by Bite Beauty. They invited me to do like a virtual lipstick making with the Bite Beauty Lip Lab in Toronto. And this is the color I made. It's called Kelsey, obviously. So I got to like monogram it. There we go. I got to like put my name on it and this is the color they made me. I wanted my perfect nude shade and it's kind of like a very shiny formula. It's called their luminous formula and I really like more glossy lipsticks. I really like this color. I feel like it's very flattering. I chose the coconut flavor. That's the only thing that I'm like meh about. I wish I didn't pick the coconut flavor. I wish I picked like vanilla or I think they have like wild berry. I wish I went with that because the coconut is just not it. It kind of smells like coconut mixed with Play-Doh a little bit. I don't know. It's just not a good combo. So I wish I got a different flavor, but other than that, it's good. Okay, so let's get right into it. I will scooch over so we can get talking about sale makeup. The first thing I actually wanted to talk about is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And it's the KVD Vegan Beauty Edge of Reality Fully Recyclable Eyeshadow Palette. I have it right here. It's what I used for my eye look today. I'll zoom you in so you can see it. So this is the eye look. It's very pretty. I like how it turned out and yeah that's about it so this is what the palette looks like very beautiful i personally think i really like it i think the formula is really good too all of the shadows perform really well but the reason i'm not surprised this is on sale is because of kvd vegan beauty's reputation i feel like they're still kind of in the recovery stage of having kat von d as the face of their brand and it's priced at 61 dollars, which is kind of expensive people are definitely willing to pay that but with the reputation of the brand i think it is a little bit expensive but i'm sure that with fully recyclable packaging i get why because fully recyclable packaging is more expensive i'm just saying i get why the price is where it is but i just think with the reputation of the brand people just aren't as into it definitely not as much as they once were and i think that is a lot to do with kat von d being the face of the brand she just left like what seven months ago mm, was it 2020 that she left yeah so it did happen at the beginning of 2020 end of 2019 and i just think they haven't built up their reputation to where it needs to be so i'm not surprised that that's on sale just for that reason it is a really good palette though if you were interested in it i do recommend you pick it up on sale because it's pretty good the next product that i want to talk about is another product that i'm wearing right now i just wanted to get the two products that are actually on my face like out of the way it's the beauty blender bounce liquid whip long wear foundation again i am wearing that product today and it is my favorite foundation i have it in my kit for makeup artistry and i use it on so many skin types they have a really good shade range but it's just not really talked about much and i Honestly, I don't know why, but I do know that since it doesn't have the hype, even though I love it because it doesn't have the support as much from the beauty community and it's just not really talked or raved about, 
that's why I feel like it's on sale because it's probably not selling well because of the fact that like no one's talking about it. But if you were eyeing that foundation, I would recommend you get that too because it's a really good foundation. I think the only big beauty YouTuber that I've heard talk about it is Tati, but Tati hasn't made a video in like six months. So I feel like that's a big reason as to why it's not selling that well. If it's not selling well, I don't know because of the lack of influencer support, but it has my support. I love that foundation, it's my favorite. I hope it's not being discontinued because it's been on sale for a while. The only thing that's really annoying about the foundation is the packaging, just saying. It just, it gets clogged and it doesn't get all the product out. It's just, it's annoying. But other than that, like the product itself, so good. Next up I wanted to talk about um, an eyeshadow palette. Mm. This is the Sephora Collection Animal Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. It's on sale for $7. Seven. The reason I feel like this is on sale is because I've literally never heard of its existence, ever. First of all, the color story, it's nothing unique. Second of all, it's just, if I know anything about Sephora quality, like the Sephora collection, I just, I feel like if this is going on sale for $7, the quality can't be very good. And the packaging, I bet you it's just like a flimsy cardboard packaging, and I bet you it's really small too. In the photos, it doesn't look so tiny, but I feel like it would be very small once you get it. But the main reason I think that, you know, it's on sale is because literally no one's talking about it. Even when it launched, whenever that was, I, I've i never heard of it in my entire life. I didn't even know it was a thing until today when I looked at the sale makeup, so that's why I think it's on sale. Another Sephora collection item that I also didn't know it existed is the I Love eyeshadow palette. First of all, I think this is on sale again for the reason I stated previously. No one's talking about it. I've never even heard of this palette, but also this is the ugliest color story ever. I don't like it. I'm kind of confused because I don't know if that big pan on the left side is a blush or an eyeshadow or I don't know what's going on there but these colors are just it's just not good you have the three primary colors a green a white and a black it's just not cohesive at all I just don't get it I don't I don't like it I don't get it and no one's talking about it I've never heard of it so that is on sale for nine dollars next up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Oat Holiday mini lip gloss set I think that this is on sale because not a lot of people are buying it. And I think the reason is that no one really likes metallic lip products. I'm more inclined to try a metallic lip gloss than I am a metallic lipstick, but still any product that's metallic, I immediately am turned off. I don't want to put that on my mouth at all. It's just not a flattering look, especially not on me. And I know quite a few people that feel like that. So for that reason, since half the set is a metallic lip gloss, that's why I think it's on sale. And that's on sale for $18.50 and it was $37. I feel like $37 is quite expensive for four mini lip glosses. I wouldn't pay that. I would not pay full price. Honestly, I don't even think I would pay $18.50. I think that's even too steep. Next up is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Freestyle Highlighters. At first, I was a little surprised about these being on sale, but then I looked at the colors that were on sale and it was all of the bright colors. So the purple one, uh, the pink and orange one, and I think it's the teal and silver one. And the reason I feel like these are on sale is because they're just too bright to be highlighters. No one's going to rock a bright purple highlighter. The only purpose I can see these having is as eyeshadows, but those are really big for eyeshadow pans. I think everyone knows that they're not going to go through an entire large highlighter pan of purple eyeshadow. And like I said, I don't really think that anyone's going to be buying these for the purpose of using them as highlighters. So that is the reason that I think the bright shades are on sale. Next up is an eyeshadow palette by my Mac. Mac. <laughs> Next up is an eyeshadow by Mac Cosmetics. It's the Rocket to Flame eyeshadow palette. It is on sale for thirty nine dollars down from 52. First of all, I really don't like how these eyeshadows are arranged. This is a personal thing, but like I feel like there's a lot of wasted space in the corners. And I know a lot of makeup collectors are kind of finicky about wasted space and packaging because it just makes things bulkier than they need to be. And if I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes, I want them to be as slim as possible. And with the rising popularity of mini palettes, I feel like wasted space is just, it's just not trendy right now. So as I stated previously, this 
is the Rocket to Flame eyeshadow palette and it looks like it's just a bunch of shimmer shades. I've never heard anybody talk about this. I think it has a matte cream shade, a matte brown, and a matte black and it looks like the rest are shimmery. I just don't think it's a very practical palette. I don't think the color story is anything unique and I don't think it's very cohesive and I know that MAC eyeshadows aren't what they used to be. I feel like with MAC they've kind of kept their formulas the same which back in the day were really good but now that the makeup industry is so huge now everyone's past them in formulas and they're still down here. You know what I mean because they haven't progressed with the times and that is the reason that I feel like this eyeshadow palette is on sale. There were actually quite a few MAC Cosmetics products that were on sale I noticed and I think that's the reason. Their formulas, they just don't hit the way they used to. The next product that is on sale is the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Own Your Light. First of all, the reason I think it's on sale is because honestly it's not a very nice color. Like I would never wear a highlighter of this shade. But on top of that, I feel like their core range of shimmering skin perfectors are what people are after. And not only that, but I feel like Becca has relied solely on the quality of their shimmering skin perfectors, so much so that they rely on that as their single hero product and everything else just kind of gets overlooked. And I feel like that's why Becca, in my opinion, is falling off a little bit. But since their core range of shimmering skin perfectors are, you know, very neutral, very pretty, and they keep launching like limited edition fun shades that nobody asked for. I think that's the big reason that people were not super excited about this one. I didn't really hear anybody talking about it. I'm pretty sure this one was supposed to be like a universal highlighter, but I know for a fact that that would not jive with my skin tone. So this product is on sale because of those reasons, in my opinion. Next up is the NARS Mini Orgasm Double Duo. First of all, how many times are they gonna make mini orgasm products. It's every year. They do this every year. I love that TikTok sound. But yeah, I just, eh. if I know anything about NARS holiday products, it's that they are so tiny. I haven't been able to see it in stores this year, but I've seen them in stores previous years and they are so incredibly small. And for $28? $28 for something so tiny, I just don't think people were buying it. There's no way you could fit a blush brush in this little compact, there's no way. Maybe they've changed things, I hope they have, maybe they are a bit bigger, but since it's on sale, that kind of points to the fact that they haven't changed things. It's probably tiny. And I just think $28 is too steep of a price point to justify such a small product. Even $21, which is the sale price, is still too high in my opinion, for a blush and highlighter duo that will be the size of an eyeshadow duo. Also, they put a ribbon on top of any box and call it an ornament and they upcharge like five bucks just because it has a ribbon on it. Next step is the Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte Lipstick. It looks like all of the shades of this were on sale, which tells me, which tells me it might be a product that they're looking to discontinue. The reason I think that these are on sale, they're half off for $13.25. I think it's just because honestly, liquid lipsticks just aren't the move anymore. They were really trendy at one point and now I just feel like they're not. Glossy lips are much more in. Even satin lipsticks are a lot more in right now. Liquid lipsticks had their moment but they're just way too drying and I don't think they're very practical. Yes they're super long wearing but it doesn't really matter if your lips are dry and crusty after like three hours. So that's the reason I think these are on sale. It's just, it's just not a trendy product anymore. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw more and more liquid lipsticks going on sale. Next up is an eyeshadow palette and it is by Pretty Vulgar. It is the Phoenix Rising eyeshadow palette. It is on sale for half price. It was $45 and now it's $22.50. Honestly, for this product, I think it's more of like a brand thing. I just don't think that Pretty Vulgar really took off. I feel like when it launched, everybody was, you know, talking about it, like the new brand at Sephora, it's the new kid. But after that, I just don't see anyone talking about them ever. I think that has to do with the quality of the products being a little meh to most people. I had a Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow palette and I did declutter it and I don't declutter a lot of things. Also, I'll spill some tea here. I reached out to work with them. I was like, hey, like just be like, considered to like maybe put on PR or something. They said no and to contact them again when I had 100,000 followers. Needless to say, I'm not gonna contact them again. But yeah, even after their initial launch, 
they haven't really come out with anything. That's kind of weird now that I think about it. Like they haven't come out with anything since their initial launch. So as a result, I think people kind of forgot about their brand because they had one initial launch and then they've just kept the same products for like what? three years. So that is the reason I feel that this is on sale. Let me know if you agree. Let me know your thoughts on Pretty Vulgar in the comments down below because I'd be interested to know. Have you been, you know, interested in their stuff lately? Because I feel like they're kind of just a product to get in your boxy charm that you're kind of like, mm, but not something that you would like go out and actively purchase. You know what I mean? Next up is an eyeshadow palette by Too Faced. It is the Palm Spring Dreams eyeshadow palette Peaches and Cream collection. It was originally $59 and now it's on sale for $35.50. I think that this is on sale because I don't think that Too Faced eyeshadow palettes are really selling. Definitely not as much as they once were. And the reason I think that is, is because their quality is really hit and miss. I haven't bought a Too Faced eyeshadow palette since the Peachy Mattes palette. I remember Jackie Ina saying that she really liked that palette so I went out and bought it. But since then, I don't think I've bought any Too Faced eyeshadows just because some palettes are amazing, but some are really, really bad. I just don't want to spend $60 to take that risk. I could always return it, but I don't love returning makeup. Not only that, but this color story isn't anything revolutionary. It's neutrals with a pop of blue. We've seen it literally a million times. So I feel like if I was going after this color story, there are tons of other brands that I could look to that have a more consistent formula. Next up is the KVD Vegan Beauty Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this one because I feel like the reason these are on sale is because of reasons I previously stated. First of all, less people are buying KVD Vegan Beauty because of the Kat Von D scandal. I feel like their brand is really, you know, still feeling the consequences of that. So not only that, but I feel like liquid lipsticks, again, just aren't what they used to be. People just aren't as excited about them and they're just not as trendy of a product. That being said, it is only the bright colors that are on sale. It's like a bright purple, a really dark shade, a teal, a black, and a gray that are on sale. So I feel like it's just colors that, you know, they're trying to move stock and get rid of because not a lot of people are wearing those colors. They're not neutrals, they're not natural, they're not reds, they're just kind of obscure colors that people aren't really interested in. But I feel like if I was gonna go for a liquid lipstick, I would go for the KVD Everlasting Liquid Lipstick formula. It is a really good formula and that was their standout hero product for a really long time. So I don't think they'll be getting rid of them, but I just don't think they're selling like they used to when liquid lipsticks were trendy. And finally, we have the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Full Coverage Matte Foundation. I haven't heard a lot about this since it launched, really. I think a big reason for that is because it's so heavily scented. I know her products are just, they're just so heavily scented. I did hear somewhere that heavily scented products are really popular in the Middle East, which is where Huda is from. So it makes sense that her products do have quite a bit of fragrance in it, if that is true. But here in North America, I know a lot of people just aren't into fragrance. I know a lot of people are sensitive to it. Personally, I'm not that sensitive to fragrance. My skin doesn't mind it. However, I was really sensitive to this degree of fragrance. Like it is very heavily scented point where I just like, it would give me a headache. I just couldn't use it. So if I'm not really sensitive to fragrance, I couldn't even imagine a person that is sensitive to fragrance using this product. And I think that turned quite a few consumers away from this product because she did come out with a newer foundation recently, the Stick Foundation, and that one is unscented. So I feel like she did hear people when they were complaining about fragrance. And yeah, I just haven't heard a ton of people talking about this one anymore. And I think because it's so heavily fragranced, not a lot of people use it. And that's why I think it's on sale. And that is it for all of the sale makeup I wanted to talk about today. I'm thinking about doing this for like Boxing Day because obviously that sale is going to be very large. There's gonna be a lot of products. So maybe I could look at like the holiday sets that are on sale. There are already some on sale at Sephora as we approach Christmas, which I was kind of surprised about. So I think I'll do another one of these types of videos in the near future if you guys like this one. I personally love just talking about makeup and what I think about it. So let me know if you like this video and I can do more of them. I was also thinking about doing like a makeup I'm 
surprised is on sale kind of video like things that I'm like oh that's on sale I feel like that's a good deal I feel like maybe I'm interested you know what I mean let me know if you'd be interested in something like that too anyways that is it for me today thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far please don't forget to subscribe it really helps me out if you don't want to subscribe that's okay too I just really appreciate you being here it really helps my channel out just by you watching so thank you please let me know if you have any requests in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!